Good morning, y'all. What's up? It's your girl Tay Mini. Right now, you guys, it is 4.38 in the morning. We got an early flight. My flight leaves at 7.15 today, so I had to get up dumb early. So I already got my stuff packed up over here. I don't know if y'all can see well. I'm just waiting on Rebecca right now to um come just so we can pack the car up and then head to the airport. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some things together and I'll see you guys when I'm on the way to the airport. You made it to the airport. Say hi. Wave. Huh? Wave. <laughs> you made it past security. Hey, yeah. Getting through security was such a breeze, child. It, really it was a breeze, baby. Y'all see Rebecca trying to vlog today. Don't come to me. Y'all, the last time, the last time we went to Houston, Rebecca didn't have, she wasn't vlogging. But now, Shawty vlogging. Y'all look at our little ma uh, matching mask, too. We twins. We so cute. If y'all want the mask, y'all already know to hit up. Yeah. www.modestly.com. Put it right here. <laughs> Put it right here. Yeah, we just waiting, y'all. It's uh 5.44. We really trying to wait till Chick-fil-A open. Because they talking about they open at 6. So, mm. yeah, we going to wait. And then we're going to go to the gate. And then we should be boarding around 6.30. That's what it said. I didn't even tell them where we was going. Mm -mm. Girl, you better tell them something. Yeah, I was like, should I just wait until we get there? But yeah, it's, birthday it's the birthday trip, child. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second, so bye. <laughs> Um, we're on the way to the hotel right now. <sighs> we just got an Uber. Yeah, we're gonna see y'all there in a second. We finna just, you know, ride. Like, <laughs> <Say> bye. What's up, y'all? We finally made it to the hotel room. The hotel is so cute. I love it. Actually, I'm gonna give y'all like a little mini tour real quick. Becca's in the bathroom, so we can't show y'all that real quick. But yeah, we have this little body mirror. Y'all see it? Y'all see the vibes? You see me, my little Uggs? We have a little queen bear here, queen bed over here. The lamp setup, which is really cute and modern. What I do love is I love all this space, bro. Like, you know when you go to hotels and there's not like a lot of counter space for your foot stuff? But this has a lot. I'm not for sure it was underneath. Ooh, they got a fridge in here. Oh, we got a little coffee maker, TV. This is the part that I love the most, y'all, because I could literally sit here and do my makeup before we get ready to go out. Somebody could be in the bathroom and somebody could be over here. I think right here is like the yeah like the charge and stuff so that's cool one of my other favorite spots is this like nice chair y'all look at this purple chair the bathroom is kind of small i'll show y'all that in a minute but it's really pretty it has like a glass shower and then marble floors it doesn't have like the most counter space but it's still do i rate this probably like a eight eight and a half out of ten becca becca says she rated an eight so yeah, so right now I guess we about to go find something to food or something. Becca said she's hungry. So probably gonna find something to eat. You know, look at the hotel. Y'all, this hotel is giving luxury, like resort luxury, all that, y'all. I saw the pictures online, but you know how like online sometimes the pictures be looking like OD extra? No, not at all. This shit had an ice sculpture in it, baby. This really this is really like doing what it was supposed to do. But like I said, we're just settling in right now. So I'll make sure to bring you guys with us wherever we go. And stay tuned to see this lit girls trip, birthday trip. Yeah, just stay tuned, baby. Y'all look at the elevator. It look like a Rolls Royce in here. Oh, look like a wraith. I just wanna know if you're my friend. I just wanna know if you're 
You guys. Oh my god. Hey y'all, this hotel is so nice. Like we ain't even visited half of the stuff that's in here. But like, yeah. Yeah. This got me so baby. We definitely gonna have to come out and you know step into the water, child. Yes. Okay, y'all, so we just got back to the hotel. We went to Walmart just to pick up a few things. Necessities back over there. Dang, girl, I didn't got you on camera. Vinny, <laughs> hey, hey, who she Vinny got for? We gonna try to go to the Galleria. Um, we went there last time and it was pretty, it was cool. Like, y'all already know if you've been to Houston and been to the Galleria, it's big as hell. Everything's in there, so we gonna go. Um, I need to find a little birthday fit. I know y'all probably like, how you don't have your birthday fit? But I have one, but it's just not giving what I wanted to give. You know what I mean? So probably just gonna, you know, go find me a little outfit. And Becca hungry. I'm hungry too. Well, I feel like by then I'm gonna be hungry. So we probably gonna get something to eat while we up there. And then we probably gonna stop by the liquor store a little bit later. Get some wine, you know, wine and dine. Um, and then yeah, we probably gonna change too before we go to the Galleria because y'all, it's hot. I'm probably gonna just change, you know, something real cute and comfortable and then go to the mall and you know, just find something. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. We probably just gonna kick it, settle in, and I'll come and grab y'all when we got to go. We just got dressed. We about to go to the Galleria so y'all see the fit. I got my toes out. But yeah, we about to head out to the Galleria. About to go find me a little birthday fit. And yeah, so y'all come with us. What's up y'all? So we just made it to the Galleria and it's 1247. So we just walking around right now. I'm trying to find some little boutiques and some shops or something. Just to give me a little fit y'all cause I really just need to make sure my shit look good, period. I love the Galleria, it's so big and there's so many stores in here. Like, child, it's really a one-stop shop. We got Lush over here. We walking past a whole bunch of stores, y'all. The gallery is huge. If you ain't never been to the gallery before, baby, it's big. Like, I think it's what, three stories? Three, four stories? I think it's three. Yeah, we gonna try to find somewhere to do what we do, and then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show y'all whatever we got going on. Okay, y'all, so we in Forever 21. We went to this other store. I ain't really see nothing I liked. So I'm gonna see what's here. Cause you know, Ferris 21 is like a go-to, baby, for real. Oh, these are cute. Y'all see a girl walking by? We ain't even find nowhere. We got hungry, so we was like, let's just stop and get something to eat. We're at this place called Blanco Tacos in, I think, Tequila? I don't know, something. It's a, it's a little Mexican spot, though, but it's really cute in here. They just brought us some. So. Do you want to get any appetizers started or anything? Do y'all need some time with the menu? Um, yeah. I had a question. With the nachos, can you do beef or like what type of meat can you do? So you can do like pretty much any kind of meat. We do shredded chicken, shredded beef, ground beef. You can do uh, some shrimp on there. Okay, is it extra or is it just? Yeah, so I think the prices for the, this is the machacas, the beef, the uh, chicken is $3, the okay. machacas is 5 and then I think the shrimp is like pretty pricey, it's like 12 Okay, yeah. okay. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna eat some nachos. Oh, they got enchiladas. Yeah. I'm about to eat diving. I got some women for my Sprite. You know, shout out to Houston for putting me on. We just finished eating. Like, we did just got this food like 10 minutes ago. We done. Girl, I ate half of mine. I just get. Y'all, I'm more of like a nibbler, and it, it don't take me long to get food. So, whew, I'm gonna definitely take this back to the hotel. At this point, we need to build. Cause I'm done. I'm gonna go home. I'm sleepy though. I just caught the itis, y'all. That's what happened when you deprive yourself of food all day. Y'all, the people in here, they noticed that we was um, vlogging. They came up to us. They was like, are you guys vloggers? Me and Becca was like, girl, yeah. We didn't know what to say, cause that's so awkward still, like to this day. Even though I kind of been vlogging, I don't want to say for a minute, but I've vlogged before. 
it's very awkward when people ask me like, oh, are you a vlogger? Cause sometimes I don't be feeling like I'm a vlogger. But yeah, we about to get the check, try to head out of here. They say rush hour start around like four and it's 1 37, so I don't know. We ain't in no rush, but we trying to go out tonight to Seaside Lounge. So we need to get back, take a shower, do makeup here, get cute. We gonna see you guys in a minute. Say bye back. We just finished eating. We just walking around. We just left Sack. They had a little 70% off designer sale. Really, I didn't even mean to walk in there, but we just did. But I mean, I ain't seen nothing in there I really like anyways. Um, I seen Chanel, y'all know I love Chanel. But I ain't seen nothing in there. I'm still looking for an outfit, y'all. Like, <laughs> and I asked the waitress lady, I was like, is there any like good stores for like club wear, shit like that? And she's like, girl, I just moved out here. I'm like, fuck. So, I don't know. And you know, this is a Galleria, so it's kind of upscale. So, like, you don't see, like, those club wear type stores that you might see in, like, smaller towns or, like, even in Atlanta. So, I don't know. We, we gonna see, though. I really need a fit. Because I'm not trying to come out here tomorrow. My birthday is on Saturday. And tomorrow's Friday. But I want to find my outfit today. I ain't trying to wait till tomorrow. Because we got other shit planned for tomorrow. Y'all pray for me, though. Yeah. Uh-uh, who is that? Girl, what the fuck? Anyways, y'all, so, fail the fucking mission, y'all. Couldn't find nothing in there to wear. Everything was either too expensive for us what the fuck it was, or it just wasn't my style. We about to try to find a liquor store, and then, are we? Cause you said Uber, I meant walking. Cause I don't see no point in Uber there than Uber into the hotel. I just don't think it's gonna be a liquor store around here. You wanna check? <laughs> We can, I guess, shit. Guess we checking for a liquor store, but if not, we about to head back to the hotel. Cause we've been here for far too long. My feet tired, we tired, and we still gotta go out tonight. So we gotta get our stuff together. Okay, y'all, so we back at the hotel. The plan is to go out to this lounge tonight and we're i don't know not to say we're debating but we were trying to figure out what time we wanted to hit the lounge up but see i don't know because <laughs> your girl tired we also went to the liquor store too so we got some kinky i haven't had kinky in so long we got the pink and then we got the blue next time you guys see us we'll probably just be getting ready you know but i gotta figure out what i'm gonna wear tonight got a few options but i don't know exactly what type of vibe i'm going for so I'll definitely make sure you guys are posted. You want my hair right now, baby, like please. Ugh, I need to put some more makeup on my lace. But y'all ignore my hair right now. But yeah, we finna chill, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. What's up, you guys? So we're back and we're about to go out. I'm so ready, y'all, like, honestly. I was so ready to turn up. So I did my makeup, so I'm gonna look quick. Cute beat something to keep the boys in line, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show y'all a little fit in a second. Y'all can see I have this two piece. I think I got this from Shein. No, actually I got this from Honey Bum. Got this from Honey Bum. It's this little two piece set. And I got this black or I guess like an off black. I don't know. It's like a faded black jean jacket. This gold watch. Um, This bracelet, gold bracelet my granddaddy gave me. I have this cute fur like purse. I was gonna just wear my regular leather one, but it's so small and I kind of need the space tonight. So, mm -hmm. and then I have these clear heels. I was debating because y'all, I really don't want to wear heels tonight because I feel like my feet already barking. Becca said the heels would be cute, so I mean, I don't know. I guess y'all know the hair is flowing today. We on Rapunzel status, but cute little fit, you know what I mean? It's probably like what maybe 6 45 we said we was trying to get there at seven so we i guess kind of on good time and we really finna walk out in a little bit i just wanted to come and show y'all you know the look and what we doing and how we come in you know what i'm saying we got a little becca d in the back what's up y'all hold on let me focus on you girl hold on girl yeah spin on them yeah this is gonna be a nice vibe you excited becca Period. I'm excited, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm ready to just get into the vibes, get into the music, get into the drink, the food, everything. Just the whole vibe. If you're going to Houston or you haven't been to Houston and you were trying to find new places, baby, go to Seaside Lounge. Like, it's lit. It's always a vibe. 
It's a beautiful lounge. It's just everything. Hookah, drinks, like I said, food. It's just the whole thing. So y'all make sure y'all go and check them out. Not gonna lie, y'all. We probably gonna be back pretty late. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I will see you guys again. Nine times out of ten, I'm probably just gonna come in the hotel and knock right out. So if you guys don't see me until tomorrow, please don't be surprised. Your girl just got a little drunk. Your girl got a little too turnt, you know what I mean? And she just had to come home and take some beauty rest. So don't be mad at me, okay? So we about to head out and I will see you guys sooner than soon. Okay, yeah. Friday morning, the 14th, <clears throat> y'all, sorry. So I already took a shower, did my hair and everything, washed my face, and we just chilling right now. We don't know what we're gonna do in the morning. So yeah, I just wanna let you guys know I'm up. What's up, you guys? So we are dressed, we're ready to go. We're about to go to a brunch spot. Um, we're not, well, I don't know which one we're going to. We found two, but I'm not for sure which one so yeah, i'm about to show y'all the outfit though since it is brunch i'm not gonna be doing too much especially on the face i literally just had some lip gloss my eyebrows done and like that's it of course i got lashes but that's all i'm doing for the face y'all know the hair stay got to be late you know what i mean i have a jean jacket on again uh, y'all know i love jean jackets gold watch it's like a light gold and then I have like this other bracelet, the one that my granddaddy gave me. I was gonna wear one that actually Rebecca got me for Christmas, but the gold, I don't think it matched with the watch and I really wanted to wear the watch. It matched with my other bracelet though. So I just wore the watch just to kind of, you know, sophisticate the look. I got my small little black bag. I feel like every girl need to have one of these, child, because like it's just giving cute. Because you guys can't see like my maxi dress, I'm gonna step into the mirror. Well, this was the dress, of, like it got a little slit on the side and it got some lace on the back. I'm gonna probably have Becca tie this up for me. I just got these regular sides. I only brought one pair of y'all flats, sandals. Becca, you wanna tell them what you're wearing, so? Don't grab me like that. You just did that on the last, y'all remember that last time? And I told Rebecca to get in my vlog and she was like, eh. Anyway, y'all, I guess if she don't wanna show y'all, just go to her YouTube. You know what? Becca D. Let me show y'all. I literally just have like this a white shirt, mm -hmm. some shorts, some boots. Works. Yeah, but let's just get into the color though. I like that the chocolate color, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna need me one. The name of the brunch spot we going to is Dish Society, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and it's pretty close. It's not far. They said it has. Well, Becca said they have really good ratings. We probably finna call the Uber, you know, since we got everything done. And yeah, so we will see you guys when we get there. I'm not gonna be bringing like my camera because y'all seen this little ass bag so i'll probably be filming off my phone so i'm gonna show you guys the food the atmosphere just the whole entire vibe you know what i mean and it looks nice like it looks like a cute little place you know what i mean so yeah we gonna see yeah okay so i'm gonna see you guys a little later we're gonna check in with y'all okay bye Are back we just got back to the hotel y'all like I am feeling really good I had a margarita at the brunch spot yeah it was so good it was a pineapple margarita it was supposed to be frozen but I guess their little ice machine was broken so they made it on the rocks which is cool we just about to chill probably for a little bit uh, change clothes because we're about to go to the pool so we just came back to the room just to you know change clothes, grab a few more, you know, drinks, sip a little bit before we go to the pool, and probably just chill there. It's pretty warm outside, y'all, so I can't wait to just go to the pool, lay out, 
catch a little vibe, you know. It's just crazy being in the pool in January. We still haven't figured out where we're gonna go out tonight, but I know we're gonna go get a uh, Lotus Seafood. If you guys have not been to Houston, make sure you go by and get some Lotus Seafood because it's so good. Or Seafood Lotus, I don't remember which one it's called, but we went here, we went there last time and y'all, it was so good. And we met a few people, we met some friends out there. So make sure you guys get the live pack. It has sausage, shrimp, fried rice. The fried rice is amazing. And it has, I think like corn, I think. I don't know, something else in it, but it's really good. That's my personal favorite. Of course, the crab legs are really good. Um, yeah, and get their sauce. I think it's, I forgot what type of sauce it is, but it's like their own little sauce they have and it's so good. I really can't wait, y'all. Like, I've been wanting seafood for a minute and I've purposely not been trying to eat seafood just to go to Lotus, okay? I really love the brunch spot, y'all. It was so good. The food was amazing. The pancake, woo! Baby, let me think about that pancake. That pancake was just amazing. It was nice and fluffy, it wasn't dry. Oh, girl, it was so good. I wish I would have had one to go, but I was like, no, let me just save my little money, you know, for the rest of the trip. It's called Dish Society. Uh, for anybody that's in the Houston area and wants to go and wants to see, it's really nice. Like, even the inside, the aesthetic of it. You guys kind of saw, like, how it looked. I got a grilled pesto sandwich. So good with some chips. I guess they have, like, homemade chips or house-made chips. They're really good. Um, and then, again, the pancake. And I also, the margarita was really good. One thing, the margarita was pretty strong. It, it was it was pretty strong. It definitely had tequila in it. But I just asked for a little bit more of uh, pineapple juice and it was perfect. So yeah, make sure you guys go to this Society and go to Lotus Seafood if you're in the Houston area. Great daytime activities. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get my bathing suit out so we can hit the pool and then I will grab you guys when we're on our way to Lotus. We back, we just changed. I got this cute little bathing suit on. I put my biker shorts on, but yeah, we about to head to the pool, y'all. I can't wait to get outside, catch up five, you know what I mean? But yeah, so we got to go to the pool, y'all. We looking real cute, <laughs> looking real good. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this vlog. Today's gonna be a good day, so y'all tag along. Y'all, the pool empty, but it's so pretty. This Houston sun is something serious, okay? Y'all don't mind my skin, baby. I'm a little, I'm a little greased up right now, okay? So we better go to Seafood Lotus. Um, we just on some casual shit, y'all. We really finna go there and then get into something later on today. I did change my outfit, but it's nothing major. I just kept the same jean jacket, put a white top on, and some brown leggings, and then of course, my slides. You guys, I look so greasy right now. I need to put some powder on or something because your girl just look, this grease, this ain't even glow. So if you haven't been to Seafood Lotus, get your itineraries ready. So when you come to Houston, you know where to go. I'm telling you, girl, take me, sent you there. We got the food, I'm about to show y'all. So we got a pound of crab legs. It was, well, I don't know if it's a pound. It said two clusters, so. Got some cluster. I think this is like garlic, but I don't know. It might be their little special sauce. And then I got a loud pack. Uh, loud pack is what I was telling you guys about earlier. It's like the fried rice and with shrimp. We went to a different location. So, I mean, I think this location just did shrimp, but the last one had like a sausage. Um, I think it had like corn, shrimp, like all of that in there. But I feel like it'll still taste good though, regardless of that. We about to chow down, we about to eat, we about to make sure you know, we get some food in our system. We haven't found an exact like location where we're gonna go later, but we're probably gonna step out, you know, cause technically midnight is my birthday. We just gonna see where the night takes us, but I did wanna make sure to let you guys know that I did get my food. I didn't vlog in there because it was kind of crowded and it was just a lot of people and they call out numbers when you go there so you really got to pay attention so i didn't really have time to vlog yeah i'm sorry about that but i hope you guys you know when you come to houston make sure you hit up seafood notice go and get you a bite baby oh what's up y'all it's my birthday okay and i know y'all like girl where you been all day you ain't vlog it is Saturday night, y'all, and I have my birthday fit on. My makeup, I just did something minimal. I was gonna stack my lashes, but I was like, nah. I'm not gonna do too much to my face because I just want my dress to be the focus. When I went to the mall, I did not find anything. This is a dress that I had for a minute. I actually bought this dress for Halloween, y'all. I never wore it, but you know, People were saying like, oh, it's cute. You could dress it up, make it look cute. This is what it's looking like in the mirror. Honestly, I didn't like it at first. 
because I was like, oh, this is giving majorette, you know what I mean? My friends, they was like, girl, it's cute. Like, just wear it, it looks really nice. It looks more birthday. This is the back of it, y'all. So it's like one of those type of, I don't even know how to describe the dress, but it's like one of these type. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to mess it up because uh, the hooks come off very easily. So I'm trying to be careful so I can make it to my pictures. But I just wanted to come and show you guys what I threw on for my birthday pictures. Hopefully the pics come out really nice. Becca's really good with the pictures anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna hopefully get into it and get cute. We finna head downstairs to take my pictures and then we're gonna come back up. I'm probably gonna change cause like I said, I'm not wearing this out when we go to the club. I hope my makeup looks decent. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pictures and then I'm gonna come back. I'm too sexy for this chain, too sexy for your game, too sexy for this fame, yeah, yeah. I'm too sexy for the trap, too sexy for that cap, too sexy for that jack, yeah, yeah. Okay, alright, that's fine. Okay, okay. I'm feeling too sexy to accept requests. I already took my pictures and we just got back from, well, we went to Prospect Park. We was only there for like a little bit and then we ended up going to Camp Houston. And Camp Houston was a vibe. It was more so of, you know, I guess our atmosphere. I think the only reason why Prospect, we wasn't feeling it is because it's January 15th, so you know that's Founders Day for the AKA. So all the AKAs were in there. And it was cool, but I, it just gave me more like college vibes versus just like, you know, regular crowd. I had some good ass food when we was at Camp Houston. I had some loaded, uh, well actually, I ain't gonna say good ass food. Like it was all right. It wasn't the best, but it was something. Cause I was really hungry. Had a frozen margarita. That margarita was hitting, okay? Drinks was on point. Now we just back, we chilling in the room. You see Becca over there, she laid out. I'm about to be laid out. We just about to call it the night, y'all. Like I didn't realize Houston, like the nightlife ended 2 a.m. Like that's crazy to me because in Atlanta, we open to like four in the morning. Like we don't we don't go to sleep, so it's just kind of like weird coming home that early. But you know that little Uber ride back was actually really relaxing, and he had the heat going, so I was about to fall asleep. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update. I know I didn't vlog that much today, but that's just cause so much was going on. Like with me, just like you know responding to people texts, calling people back, like. I just had so much going on, so I'm sorry about that. But I will insert like clips and things of that nature, things that happened while I wasn't on camera. I took a few videos, not much, but definitely took a few videos. Earlier we went to Lost and Found, which was good. Food, 10 out of 10, amazing, amazing service. Food, drinks, everything was really good. I think I had like a, it was called something OnlyFans, but it was a really good drink. It was like a real fruity, sweet drink. So if you're into that, go to um, Lost and Found and ask for that drink. I also had the lobster Cajun pasta. Um, when we were waiting in line, this guy, he was right next to me and I just asked him like, how'd he been here? He was like, yeah. And I was like, what's good? He told me to get the lobster Cajun pasta and that shit was busting, okay? If you go to Lost and Found, make sure you get that. But yeah, today's just been a long day, y'all. Like, I'm just tired. Tomorrow's our last day. I'm kind of sad, y'all, because <sighs> it's really about to be our last like official full night you know because tomorrow our flights are in the morning so we really can't get like a full night's rest so you know it's just coming to that time it's weird because it kind of it went by really fast like it feel like we just got here i'm just kind of bummed out about that but you know we're gonna make the best of it tomorrow our plan is to try to well we were gonna go to camp houston tomorrow but we went tonight so i don't know if we're still gonna go tomorrow we talked about going again but it just you know something we have to look into we got to stay posted for our flights because y'all it's inclement weather in georgia right now they're talking about we're supposed to get snow and ice so we got to make sure our flights are not getting canceled and that we can come home um it's gonna be mlk holiday so monday on the 17th so we don't have class we don't have school but you know i'm just hoping that everything works out with the flight we just we're just gonna chill we're just gonna vibe I'm going to have to look at our itinerary for tomorrow just to let y'all know what's going on. I'm pretty sure we're going to eat, of course, go to brunch maybe, just something. You know, something to just kind of wind down the last day. And like I said, even though we leave on the 17th, which is not tomorrow, but the day after, we leave at 6 in the morning. So it's not really going to be a full day that we can go out and really enjoy ourselves and, you know, even get a full night's rest. So 
yeah, we're just gonna make the best out of it with what we have left. We'll figure it out, you know, you guys will be coming on the ride. I just wanted to, you know, come on here, explain to y'all what I've been doing today, why I haven't been on camera, and, you know, just come chop it up with y'all real quick before I lay down, because, baby, I am tired, okay? When I tell you that Uber ride had me sleepy, it had me sleepy. I don't know if y'all can see it in my eyes, y'all. I'm ready to pack it the fuck up. Like for real. I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, y'all. Well, I guess good afternoon because it's definitely not morning no more. So we just got dressed. I'm letting my edges uh, lay for a little bit before we go out. We're about to go get some food. I'm not even sure which place we're going to because we still ain't decided. But we thought about going to Parma, which is like a pizza restaurant. But they have other things there as well. But I don't know, y'all, because I feel like... I feel like I just want some chicken. Like, I've been eating a lot of seafood and pasta here. So I feel like I just want something like real simple today. Like, I don't even want to do too much. But I kind of want some pancakes too. So I don't know. Maybe like chicken and waffles or something. I'm going to show you guys what my outfit's looking like when I put it all together. I also changed out my necklace. I have like a, I have like a gold tennis. I mean, not tennis. Cuban. And then. I just got this black bodysuit, and I was going to wear my booties, but I just put on my Uggs because I think I'm going to wear my booties tonight if we go somewhere. So, yeah, but I'm going to show you guys the outfit whenever I get everything together. I'm also in the process of kind of like packing up because we are leaving. This is our last day, y'all. This is our last official day here. Just trying to make sure everything's in order. That way, you know, tonight we can just go out and not have to worry about coming back to the room and trying to get everything situated so today i just want to have fun i just want to go places do different things like i don't really want to be in a room like that today and i'm actually really sad y'all like i don't want to go back to atlanta y'all already know it's rain not raining it's snowing in atlanta right now like they just said it's the ice or it's snowing like only like a couple inches which really isn't a lot but for atlanta any type of snow is a lot hopefully our flight don't get canceled y'all because i can't do that <laughs> Need to get back home, but it's like, damn, I don't want to go home either. So I'm gonna come back <laughs> and get back on the camera when everything is situated. Okay, y'all. So this is the fit. It's just like I said, this jacket, this bodysuit. It's like a spaghetti strap, um, but I put it on top. I have my fanny. This fanny is from Coach. You guys can't really see it because of the lighting, but yeah, it's from Coach. Um, I got this watch on, you know, the gold watch my granddaddy gave me along with the bracelet. Um, and then I have my Uggs on. And, oh yeah, the hair. Y'all see the hair, it's late. So we about to head on out. Um, I said Parma, but I'm gonna look to see, like, what other restaurants, but probably Parma at this point, just cause I'm ready to go. But as always, I will let you guys know what we're eating, where we're at. About to head out, I just wanna check back in with y'all, show you the fit, and let you guys know what's going on. So we will see you guys when we get to the next spot. back um last time y'all saw us when we went to twin peaks twin peaks was pretty good i ended up getting a side of wings like six wings i got garlic parmesan and three buffalo and i also got some fish and chips and they were pretty good um i wasn't able to finish it but it was really really good it's 902 we're about to go to this mexican spot when me and becca first came to houston we went to this spot it was literally on our last night of our last trip that we were in houston so we were like mm, let's just go back you know because and it was funny because i didn't even remember the name of it but becca she had looked it up i guess and she remembered the name so we about to just head back there i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm super tired and like my mood is just uh, right now my mood is just not it's kind of funky right now i'm just you know gonna go out eat and just see you know what what, what can happen what can change with my mood it is the last night so since it's the last night like at first 
we first got out here, I was like, oh, the last night, like, we're going to party. We're going to do something. We're just going to go to a little lounge. But I'm not even in the mood for that, y'all. It's Sunday. Uh, if anything, I just want to eat again and just head back to the hotel because we have an early flight we're just going in the night kind of short um i'm gonna eat i gotta come back as you guys saw earlier i was packing and i did get majority of my stuff packed but i think i'm gonna change some things around just so when we get to the airport it'll be a lot easier uh to get my luggage to them and you know handle all of that pretty much we're gonna go out to eat come back clean up the room a little bit it's fairly clean for the most part but clean it up some more um you know gather the trash wipe the counters down you know, make sure everything's in the order. Lay my outfit out for the airport in the morning. And then I'm just going to wind down, y'all, because your girl is tired. I'm already tired, so I already know. We go out to this Mexican restaurant, and nine times out of ten, I am going to get a drink. So I'll probably be tired as well. Last time I was there, I did get a quesadilla, but I don't know. I'm thinking about I might get that, but at the same time, I don't know. I kind of want, like, a salad or something. Like, mm. I wanted to go to Chipotle, y'all, but... I was like, nah, let's just go to this Mexican spot. So we finna go there. Hopefully they got something that I can eat, you know, cause I kind of do want something like on the salad type side. I have the same fit on by the way. I just threw on this hat. Y'all, it's just funny that I threw this hat on because I feel like it's kind of funny because I'm going to a Mexican restaurant with this hat on. It means bad motherfucker. That's what my uh, friend is said. Is this Mexican? She said that this said like, bad bitch or like you a bad motherfucker like you ain't nothing to play with so yeah that's what the hat means so yeah so i'll catch you guys when we get back and yeah just you know wish us a good meal a good trip because this is the last night that we are winding down to the final hours in houston and you guys will be coming with me so stay tuned so y'all can see pictures videos, all of that. Okay, y'all, so we at the Mexican restaurant right now. I'm on my phone because I didn't want to take my camera, but we got our drinks and stuff, y'all. It looks so good. Um, we just eating off some chips and salsa right now so the food come out. I ordered a beef enchilada with the side of rice, so hopefully it's good. Yeah, we've been here twice. This is our second time and it's really good, so I can't wait to eat. <sighs> so y'all, we are back at the hotel. It is right, literally right at 11 o'clock. <laughs> and you guys, I am so tired, like, but I did wash my makeup off, have a fresh face. My suitcases, I don't know if y'all could even see them over there, but my suitcases are literally packed and they're just standing over there, ready to go for in the morning. We gotta wake up so early. I realized we didn't even pop all the bottles we said we was gonna pop, like, it's a lot of things we wasted, no cap. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is literally the last day, like the last time we're gonna be in Houston for this trip. I'm so hurt, like, uh, it's the last day, the last night, you know what I mean? It's just kinda sad, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to just go back to the normal. I had a really good time. It honestly feels like we just got here, cause we kinda just did, but we literally were here for technically five days, but four days, definitely four nights so we were here for a pretty good amount of time almost a week so we spent a lot of time out in houston so you know it's okay we will be back you know i don't know when but we will be back y'all i love houston houston is literally like my second home at this point like it's such a vibe it's great food great people the hospitality just like everything about houston is just home y'all know that my folks are from alabama and i stay in atlanta so like it just reminds me of home the next place i think i want to visit is probably like nashville i heard nashville is lit i heard nashville and i heard dallas so those are gonna be like my next little travel spots um i have an auntie that actually stays in dallas too so but i just want to come back and show you guys that we made it to the room 
As you can tell by my eyes, I am very, ooh, I got some fuzz on my face. I am extremely tired, y'all. Your girl is a burnt out. I had another margarita at the restaurant. Guys, I gotta stop drinking. I just turned 21 and just don't know how to act. Like, uh, I just wanted to come back and just, you know, talk to you guys, let you guys know what's going on. Um, and if you made it this far in the video, please put a thumbs up, a like, comment down below. Like, no bullshit, all bullshit aside, I'm so grateful for you guys. So grateful for my subscribers. You guys just make my day, you know what I mean? Like, even when I just be having a bad day, I might get a notification that somebody commented and said some really nice stuff to me or just something like a nice compliment, just giving me that boost that I need. So I really do appreciate you guys. You guys are essential in all this. Like, I wouldn't even be able to get on here and give you guys content if you guys really didn't watch it. So I just want to, you know, say thank you and just show my appreciation for you guys. And thank you for always enjoying liking watching being engaged with my content you know i'm super super grateful for that you guys are the best and i love you guys so much i really hope this vlog you know was good for y'all whether it's people out there that want to come to houston and kind of trying to figure out like oh what is there to do the vibes i hope this video like really does help you know what i mean like i really do hope that you watch it and just decide to come to Houston because Houston, baby, is a vibe. Like, I can go on and on all day, all night about Houston. Um, ugh, y'all, damn, these braids are itchy. But, like I said, I want to just go ahead and end this vlog off. Thank you guys for watching this far. Make sure you guys put a thumbs up, comment down below. Where's y'all favorite part that we've been to? Like, you know, what, what little spots? Have you been kind of interested in what food do you like, you know? Just show me. Let me know in the comments below. So I'm about to lay it down. Y'all see I'm tired. And, yeah. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. So, it is probably almost, yeah, it's 427. We are up, ready to go to the airport so we can get back home. You guys don't mind my face right now. I know I look probably greasy you know a whole bunch of other stuff but i literally woke up probably like 30 minutes ago we just gonna head there the room we straighten it up as much as possible um we got a little stuff so you know everything was good but i just wanted to you know check in with you guys and let you guys know that we are about to head to the airport and leave houston yeah we really gotta go back home like back to reality but I ain't mad at it. I had a really good time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog like the airport and things like that. Just because like I said, it's just a lot of you have to do like a long process at the airport. So I'm probably not going to, or if I do, it's probably just gonna be small little segments, but I'll definitely come back on here and check in with you guys before I land or right when I land. If anything, you guys may see me in Atlanta <laughs> after this clip so so yeah i also got this scarf on right now y'all uh i'm probably gonna throw a hat on once we get through security and all that but yeah i just had this scarf on just to get through so alrighty, y'all we about to call the uber and head to the airport because i think it's like a 30 35 minute ride so we need to go ahead and hurry up and get there so we ready for our flight so i will see you guys later on let you guys know we made it what's up y'all so we just landed well not just but we just got our bags we landed and everything so we finna call the uber and get back to the crib because baby it's cold as fuck y'all the plane ride was bumpy as hell okay and it was making some weird ass noises i was not feeling that so yeah but we out here in baggage claim and we just finna wait on the uber so I'll see you guys when we get to the crib. First of all, we waiting on our Uber. It's like five minutes away, so we just waiting. We still out. We outside now, though. It's a lot of noise, too, so I don't really know if y'all can hear me, because it's a lot of fucking noise, so if y'all can't hear me, we definitely gonna vlog when I get back. So, yeah. Y'all, it is cold. Like, I'm kind of happy to be back, but I'm sad as well. Like, your girl... I'm tired. I don't know why the fuck they just hang up with me. Alright. Anyways, hey guys. Uh, 
So we just made it back and I'm about to drop Becca Becca off um, at her spot. Y'all, my elevator for my building is messed up, both of them, and I'm pissed off because I don't know how I'm gonna get upstairs with my luggage unless I take the stairs. And I tried to call my building, but nobody picked up. And it's MLK holiday, so I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna come fix the fucking elevator. But, <sighs> y'all, I'm just blown. I hate my building so much. Y'all pray that I move out, because I can't do this shit no more. But I'm about to drop Becca off. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna stay at Becca's house for a little bit just to see what they do. But if not, I'm gonna just come back and deal with this shit on my own, so. All right, I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you guys know what's going on. And I'll talk to you guys when I figure out what's going on. Hey you guys, I'm back. So I just dropped Rebecca off. I'm still in her parking garage right now. We did find a way to get my stuff upstairs. We had to go through these other stairs, which was a lot, <laughs> but we did find a way. So now I'm about to head back to the crib because your girl is tired. I was gonna stay at Becca's for, ooh, look at my head, y'all. I was just gonna chill here at Becca's, but I was just like, bruh, let me go home because if I chill too long, I'm gonna be on Becca's couch sleeping, which I'm sure she wouldn't mind, but you know, I just was like, let me, you know, go home or whatever. Grab me some Chipotle because I know I ain't cooking today. Um, I got like a burrito bowl, so um, yeah. I'm just gonna eat on that, unpack. I got my laptop with me because I thought I was gonna stay over here. So I'm gonna probably just go home, eat, try to unwind a little bit, maybe unpack some stuff, uh, wash a few clothes, start my homework. Um, it is Monday the 17th, January 17th. So it is MLK holiday. So there's no class today, but there is class tomorrow. But fortunately for me, I don't have physical classes tomorrow. So I kind of have like, you know, the day off to still chill. So I'm not really like in a rush. So if I don't get, everything unpacked, wash all that tonight. I definitely have tomorrow to do so. It is 11.56, it's almost 12 o'clock, and which is still good timing. I think we landed at what, like 10 maybe? Maybe, maybe, maybe even like nine. I really, I'm really not sure. I don't think it was eight though. Our flight was at seven, so I know we probably landed closer to like nine or 10, maybe 10 o'clock uh, Atlanta time. So yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I just wanted to kind of update you guys, let you guys know, you know, that we did make it back safe. We did land on time. Got back from the airport, as y'all saw earlier. We was in the Uber. Got to my spot, dropped my stuff off, and then I dropped Rebecca off at her spot. And now I'm headed back to mine. So, yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and put you guys up because I am driving right now and I don't want to get in an accident by not paying attention. <laughs> so, yeah. So, all right. I'm about to um, go back to the crib chill everything and i'll talk to you guys when we get back to the house 